tip, take a trip around the world uh, to bring you to uh, Han Hua Chang, who is a mentally chill but physically hardworking guy. Uh, he's joining us today from his home in uh, China, where he had to be uh, today. Um, he was here in Toronto during the winter. <clears throat> uh, during at uh, this time, he was a risk analyst on the local market risk team. So join me in welcoming Han Hua Chang. Hello, everyone. So, ladies and gentlemen, my classmates and financial leaders of different institutions. First of all, my name is Han Hua, and please have my apologies for not able to make it in person. So, I was very honored and privileged to be a part of the RBC Local Market Risk Team for the uh, Fixed Income Department. So I'm gonna talk about my major roles first. So I was entrusted by great responsibilities where I have to manage the market risk reporting of a trading desk alone, which is the USA risk derivative trading desk. So basically what I was doing is that just to ensure that the trading activities is under certain risk limits, whether it's, it's PVO1 or tenders or swaps, I mean, uh, outright risk, just make sure that, that there's no bridge or all kind of trading activities. And furthermore, I was also in response for uh, the RBC's FICC department's 21 day stop loss report and their PNL dashboard report. Along with that, I provide a weekly market commentary towards offices in New York and London about what has happened in the past week and what, what was driven the market risk and using certain statistics like the US treasury curve, swap spread or the swap to determine whether it's a bull market or it was a bear market, it was flattened or, yeah. So I was learning new stuff every single day by utilizing Bloomberg or just reading random articles about Chinese balloon. Just kidding. And on the technical side, I recognize the need for our team. So I developed a Python tool using PyQt library based on Python, which it tracks historical data for our team under the RBC's network files, and it certainly helped us for our annual limits report. We all know that the past couple months has been very volatile with all the banking crisis in the States or whether it's along with the Ivor sensation. So my, I would say my job was pretty challenging and exciting under such pressure which I acquire a lot of skills day by day. And I'm sure that all these knowledges and skills gonna fill my professional journey going forward. So last but not least, I just wanna share my gratitude towards all my members for the local market risk team to see us, Teddy, David, and Atanu, Ankit. We so appreciate it, thanks. Yeah, that's about it, thanks. Thank you, uh, thank you very much, Han Huang. Uh, so his supervisor uh, at RBC was Sia Wang, who could not join us today, but uh, sent some uh, statement, which I am reading, and I quote, Han Hua's top strength is his ability to communicate well with stakeholders. In this role, he provided our team with a weekly commentary on market conditions, as well as communicating upstream and downstream with colleagues in the front office and clients. He he asks the right questions and has done well, no matter what task we've given him, such as applying his coding skill to build a Python tool for us. He also shows strong initiative in terms of taking on more tasks. That's very nice. Congratulations uh, very much for uh, for that statement. And moving on to um, a Q&A from the audience. If you have a question, please uh, use the raise hand button in the reactions tab. tab. Uh, turn on your camera and unmute your mic will bring you on stage to ask your question. You can also type your question into the chat and Michael will read it uh, for us. My question to you is, what do you miss the most about your internship at RBC? Oh, it's a very good question. And I can just say it's straightforward. It's definitely my teammates. Like 
basically they were always happy to help, always happy to learn. That's a joke. Always happy to teach, always happy to stay with me, always happy to buy me a lunch and never ask me to buy them a lunch. So the culture was just awesome. It's kind of similar just back in school. So I love them all and that's it. Thank you very much. It looks like you had a very good time. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you.